pretty fish. Oh, look at all those fish. Okay, Sparky the Wonder Fish. A story of how love creates magic. <laughs> Once there was a little girl named Mary. Mary had curly red hair and bright blue eyes. She was a very small girl with a very big heart. See Mary's pretty red hair? Once, one bright summer day, Mary's father poured six large fish into a new giant fish tank that sat atop the living room table. See the fish tank, Alika? And that's her daddy. As the big ugly fish surveyed their new surroundings, Mary stepped into the room. When she spotted the tank, she gave Dad a yank. Does that rhyme? Pulling him close to the curious what creatures. Is that? that is a big fish in the tank. And pulling him close to the curious creatures, Mary wondered aloud about their strange features. Daddy, what kind of fish are those in that crowd? The biggest lounged, leering, and licking his chops. Her father replied, they are called Oscars, and they are very hungry. Come on, honey, we have to get them some food from the store. Oscar fish. Oscar fish? Uh-huh. <laughs> and this says, Roar, said his stomach as they walked out the door. Bang! Inside the pet store, Mary was thrilled. Oh, Dad, they're so cute, she said, face to the glass, watching the tiny tads all racing around. You've been to the pet store, haven't you? Yeah, you? We, and we bought had some Gretel from Nike food. You did? Hansel and Gretel are your puppies, huh? Look at all these fish, and look at Mary. See the little fish in the tank? Her father said gently, Honey, those are the fish that we came here to buy. But don't get your hopes up too hair terribly high. They feed the eaters. They're goldfish called feeders. They'll be eaten by big fish and end up in their tummy. The Oscars that we have will find them quite yummy. So the big Oscar's going to eat the little fish? Those ones? Yeah. And that's what her daddy's telling her in, in the store before they take them home. Just then, from the thousands of frolicking fellas, Mary noticed one in particular, fins flapping about. As she put her hand closer as if to touch him, he sped lick, lickety split up to see her. See the fish in her hand? He stared right at Mary. He stared into her eyes. She was so pleased that she cried out with ease, Sparky. So, that was his name on the spot, quick as that. That's Sparky right there. At precisely this moment, her dad grabbed a net. Swoosh into the water it slipped, scooping dozens of feeders in one single swish. Sparky had been missed. He wanted to come, but he could not do. Sorry. He wanted to come, but what could he do? He had to think fast. He flung himself fearlessly out of the tank, fins over tea kettle, splish into the bag just in time. He jumped out of the tank to get in the bag so she'd take him home. Sparky and Mary made a friendship right away, didn't they? Mary looked at her father and beamed. This little guy liked her, or so it seemed. As they drove home, perched on her lap was the big bag of feeders swimming happily about. All of a sudden, Mary felt the bag move. Upon looking down, can you guess what she saw? The very same fish she had seen in the store was trying to get her attention once more, bonking his nose right into the bag. Oh, it's you again. Hello, she said. At home, when the frisky fish were freed from the bag, Sparky tried to hold on with all that he had, clinging and sliding. 
Where's Sparky in that picture? Do you see right him? Right there. Where is he in this picture? I don't know. Sparky is a boy. Yes. I mean girl. A girl? Mm -hmm. Think so? Mm -hmm. Right here, Annika. See? Yeah. yeah. Splash into the water, smack dab in the midst of those big tooth beasts. Oh no, Mary gasped. See? Sparky going down to those big fish. She doesn't want them to eat him, do, does she? Daddy, please. She begged her father to save them from their awful fate. Please, Daddy, can't we save them, please? But he said, don't worry, sweetheart, as I told you before, the big ones eat the little ones. That's what feeders are for. In spite of his words, Mary was scared for their plight and scrambled for something to make it all right. Just as the biggest was gulping down fish, that is when Mary got her very first wish, a net. Can you guess what she's going to do? As she plunged the net deep into the water, Oscar was charging, bearing down on the savory swimmers, slurping four, six, sometimes ten at a time, chomp, chomp, chomp. She had to save at least one, but before she got close to the jaws of that meat-eating monster, that carnivorous cad, he'd whisked up even more. It was bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Just then, into her net, he swam the littlest fish, the teeniest, tiniest of the glistening game. It was the feeder who'd been friendly before at the store in the car and now once more sparky she scooped him out swoosh this fearless fellow flopped and he splashed and he squirmed in this spot he must be confused that's what she thought mary ran quick to the kitchen for a big dish of water then rushed to her friend and said in you go just like an otter see the big dish of water she put in all by himself Mary had to get Dad out the door and back to that store. She thought it wise to buy Sparky some supplies. She chose a big round bowl, lots of bright blue gravel, some flaky fish food, and a nice living plant. Is she making a home for him? Don't you think Sparky's a boy? Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah. Mary was about to pay for her things when the man at the counter, who was quite round indeed, asked, May I inquire, young lady, for what kind of a fish are the things that you need? Mary answered excitedly, It's for one of your tiniest goldfish, one I got yesterday here with my father. The man looked as though something was wrong and said, Sweetie, those are just food for big fish. They aren't very strong not even as strong as a fish you might win at the fair. And the chance he might live is undoubtedly rare. I'm so sorry, my dear, that I don't have good news. Perhaps there's another one that you should choose. Mary couldn't believe what she heard. Fighting back tears in her eyes, she left the store without her supplies. As she walked through the front door of her house, Mary let out a squeal and ran to make sure it was real. To her sheer delight and utter surprise, there he was right in front of her eyes, her tiny fish zooming around and around and around in the dish. It was her biggest wish that her brave little friend from the store and the car and the dish really was a strong fish. The following morning, Mary's dad woke her with a big grin on her, his face. And do you know what her father did next? He placed Sparky, the wonder fish, in his beautiful new bowl on the white kitchen table by the big picture window. The bowl with the bright blue gravel and the nice living plant. Sparky was stoked. He leaped in the air with a plume then whizzed round and round with light flashing off his sparkling scales. Mary says, oh, Sparky. 
thanks to her, he was alive, and thanks to her, he, every time she put her hand to the glass, as she had on that very first day, Sparky would swim to it, looking up into her eyes as if to say, Thank you, Mary. I love you, too. That's why I lived, to Mama, be with you. That's Sparky right there. That is, yes, and right here, too. And Sparky no, loves Sparky's Mary. No, Sparky's not pink. No, he's right here, though, but that looks like Sparky. No, it doesn't, because it's pink. <laughs> That's Sparky. Well, maybe. Let's see, is that the last page? That was the last. Did you understand the story at the end? Mary saved him from being eaten by the big fish, and they became the best of friends. He said, thank you, Mary. I love you, too. That's why I lived, to be with you. You like that story? Mm -hmm. Sparky the Wonder Fish.